Hi everyone, I'm Shinji Watanabe, working at Johns Hopkins University. I'll talk about the overview of the six time speech separation and recognition challenge. The challenge is organized by me, Mike Mandel, John Barker, and Emmanuel Vincent. First, I'll briefly explain the history of the time challenge, then explain the time six data and the task, baseline systems, and the introduction of challenge submission systems and results. First, I'd briefly explain the way the CHIME challenge has been working. It's so-called tic-tac model. For example, in the first challenge, we first created the challenge data and launched the first challenge. Second CHIME challenge is a follow-up challenge based on the same data. This model was applied to the following challenge as well. The first challenge was held at the satellite workshop in Interspeech 2011. We used audio recording in a family home environment captured by a binaural mannequin here. We used a small vocabulary grid corpus. There were 13 submissions and the best system powered by NTT approached human performance. The second challenge used the same noise background and setup as at first time. We increased the difficulty in two directions. Track one used the simulated speaker movement and track two used the large vocabulary data. The best track one system by TUM matched the human score and the best track two system by MAR halved the baseline word error rate. The third challenge jumped to use the real data. We used the six channel tablet recording devices and the Wall Street Journal speech was recorded live in noisy public environment. The real setup gained the intention of the challenge. We have around 30 submissions, and the best system by NTT reached 5.8% word error rate, which approaches the clean speech performance. The fourth challenge revisits the CHIME 3 challenge with additional tracks for two and one channel processing. The best system by USDC reduced the word error rate from the previous best number 5.8% to 2.2%. Given the result, we move to the next more realistic challenge, which is the CHIME 5 challenge. The CHIME 5 challenge is based on the dinner party scenario, which will be explained more details later. We used multiple microphone arrays, and this ASR task was very difficult. And the original quality baseline was 73.3%, and the best system by USDC iFlyTech significantly improved the performance with 46.1%, but it is still far from solving the problem. The CHIME 6 challenge was designed based on these previous child challenge outcomes, especially for the CHIME 5 challenge. Now I'll move to the explanation of the CHIME 6 challenge data and the task. Note that I'll explain the summary of the CHIME 6 challenge and please refer to our baseline paper if you want to know the detail about it. As I mentioned earlier, based on the CHIME tic-tac model, we revisit the CHIME 5 dinner party scenario with a recording in people's actual homes. First, I'd like to play the audio of the recordings. So, so, yeah. so, what do we uh, do, Dad? So, <laughs> how was your day? Uh, <laughs> you, have, you have ideas about what to do. So, P20. Uh, you put the table. I'm full, man. It's already? I'm full. You ate a bunch of This is all the effort needed to eat the lobster. Well, you eat all the other stuff. We just eat the crap top. You eat the stuff. I'm just tired. You're tired? As you could notice that there are a lot of appliance and other real noises. 
frequent speaker overlaps and reverberation. The data has been captured with totally 32 audio channels. We have two types of microphones. One is binaural microphone, which, which is relatively clean and used for the transcription and analysis. The main target of the challenge is the distant microphone audio captured by six separate microphone uh, Microsoft Kinect devices. They are located in living areas. These are examples of the recording setup. We used multiple rooms for the recording and the Kinect devices are located on each room. Chime 6 transcription provides the, the utterance information composed of session ID, location, only for the test set, speaker ID, transcription, and the onset offset time. In Chime 6, we newly introduced the array synchronization. The original Chime 5 data includes desynchronization across array microphones due to audio frame dropping and clock drift. Both of them are correctly handled in the CHAM6 data. Now we move on to the explanation of the CHAM6 challenge design. We have two tracks. Track one uses the Oracle segmentation, and this is equivalent to the CHAM5 multiple array track. We can simply compare the technical progress from the CHAM5. Track two does not use the any speaker segmentation. For example, in CHIME 5 or CHIME 6 track 1, we provide the speech segmentation provided by human annotation like that. The task is to tackle speech enhancement ASR given these segmentation. However, this is not a real situation. In the real situation, we also have to tackle the speech segmentation. Therefore, in track 2, we remove the speech segmentation information annotated by human. The system has to perform speech activity detection, speaker embedding, speaker dialization, in addition to the enhancement and the speech recognition. To provide all utterance information, including start and end times and the speakers in addition to the transcriptions. In each track, two separate rankings have been produced. Ranking A uses the official language model and focuses on the acoustic robustness. Ranking B allows all modifications, including the language model. Now we move to the explanation of the baseline systems. To build our baseline, we set the following policies. In track one, we aim to build a baseline system, strong, reproducible, but maintaining the simplicity. In track two, we aim to provide all-in-one recipe, integrate speech activity detection SAD, speaker embedding, and speaker dialization modules, in addition to the track one system. This requires a huge amount of efforts compared with the previous CHIME challenge baseline construction. We have been supported by many researchers to make such a system. I'm listing all of them related to the effort, including the design of the task, actual implementation, review, test of the code, and the evaluation metrics. I would like to thank all of them, and I also would like the audience in this workshop to appreciate their great efforts. With this great help and effort, we could establish the first baseline that integrates all multi speaker speech processing in this real scenario. Now I move the explanation of the system overview for each track. Note that all of them are implemented within a CALDI recipe. In track one, the speech enhancement module uh, used the open source implementation of the weighted prediction error deliberation method called NARA-WPE. We also used guided source separation GSS based beamforming, 
which uses a context speaker information to extract a target speech from a mixture. Both are developed by Paderborn University. In the speech recognition module, we use the CALDI speech recognition toolkit. We use the state-of-the-art CALDI speech recognition models by incorporating several techniques established in the previous CHIME 5 challenge, including the data augmentation, TDNNF, and the two-stage decoding. This is a baseline performance of the CHIME 6 system. As you could see, that the performance of the CHIME 6 baseline was significantly improved from the CHIME 5 baseline. And also, this number approaches the CHIME 5 top performance with a simple system. Now we move on to the track 2 explanation. In the speech enhancement, we use NARA WPE and BIM format. Note that we did not include GSS due to the risk of degradation in GS, GSS performance using estimated dialization information. In track two, we provided the speaker segmentation information called RTTM file as a reference file to compute the dialization errors. However, during the challenge period, the quality of RTTM file was discussed. We found that the CHIME 6 utilance boundaries sometimes included long pauses within a sentence, which is bad for the dialization evaluation. Therefore, we created, we created a new reference RTTM file by force aligning the transcriptions with the binaural recording using the HMM GMM system. In track two, we prepare a speech activity detection system based on a five-layer TDN model based on CALDI. The speech activity detection result computed with the original and force aligned RTTMs, as I explained before. You can see that the SAD performance is fairly working well. Given the SAD system, we also provided a speaker dialization system based on X vector and PLDA by using CALDI. We use two dialization error met metrics. One is dialization error rate, and the other is jacquard error rate. You can see that there are large amount of dialization errors in both metrics. We use the same speech recognition system as track one. Finally, we provide several evaluation metrics. For speaker dialization, we provided dialization error rate, DER, and the jacquard error rate, JER, as I mentioned before. Both are computed by using D-score, official diehard challenge scoring tool. For speech recognition, we use the concatenated minimum permutation word error rate, CPWER we call here. This can, be this can be computed by first concatenating all utilances of each speaker for both references and hypothesis files, computing the word error rate between the reference and all possible speaker permutations of the hypothesis, and finally picking up the lowest word error rate among them. CPWER includes the dialization error, and we used it as an official metric for our ranking. This is the result of track two baseline performance. You can find the significant degradation due to the dialization errors. How to recover the dialization oriented error is the main challenge of track two. Finally, we release a CHIME 6 submission information and results. Now I show you the submission statistics. This time, we have totally 34 submissions by 13 papers. This is a similar number to the previous challenge. By considering the increase of the challenge difficulties and the COVID-19 situations, 
we can say that our challenge was quite success in terms of the number of participants. Now we move on to the releasement of the challenge result. This is the track one category A result. We have 11 submissions and the most submissions improve their performance from the best Chime 5 system. The best system achieved 31.0% by USDC team. This is the track one category B result. Again, the best system achieved 30.5% by USDC team. Please congratulate the USDC Georgia Tech and the NWPU team. This will be presented in the oral session too. This is a track two category A result. You could see that the STC team achieved a fantastic score compared with the other teams. The track two category B also has a similar trend. The STC team finally achieved 42.7 CPWR, which achieved a similar range to the track one performance. Please congratulate STC Innovation and ITMO University team. This will be represented in the oral session three. I just would like to discuss the technology summary very briefly. In track one, as a speech enhancement technique, people used guided source separation and the other speech separation like deep clustering, iterative method, full use of multiple arrays. In the data augmentation, mixing the enhanced signals and the spec augment are used. For the acoustic model, people often combine CNN with the other neural network. In track two, STC's target speaker voice activity detection, they call it TSVAD, largely solved the overall problem in speaker dialization. It seems to change the game. Let me summarize this overview talk. The first take home message from track one is that the top system reaches 30% and most systems outperform the best 2018 systems. This means that our results are reproducible and steadily improve the performance in this really challenging environment. I personally set 20% as the goal of this task and we are reaching to such a goal. The second take home message from track two is that totally eight research groups could build their systems for, their, for this very complicated task. Also the top system is filling out the gap comes from the Oracle segmentation. So we can say that we established a method to tackle multi-speaker unsegmented recordings. Both of the take home messages are great outcomes for our community, I believe. That's it. Thanks everyone, including organizers, participants, and audience. We are publishing our baseline effort in archive and this workshop proceedings as well. So please also check uh, this paper for the details.